Hello, welcome to the Spanish course. I will take you along the way to help you get to the Spanish course on Moodle platform. And this is what you have to do. We're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to use Google Chrome, which seems to be working better now for these type of platforms. And when you are here, you just click and enter this address www.upb.edu.co slash es slash upb virtual you enter here and this takes you directly to the platform and to the page of the university right here you scroll down and you will find something that is campus b learning moodle and this is exactly where you'll find your course so all you have to do is click here in on campus b learning moodle and then it'll take you to your course well here you can see some courses that i have activated but you will find there your course and it all depends on the course you are taking here you'll find levels A1, A2, B1, and B1.2 and B1.1. So I'm going to go to level A1, which is access to the language. All you have to do is to click here. And once you click here, you are taken to the course, right? So this is level A1, access to the language. All you have to do now is to explore this platform. Here, here we find general information. So if you click here, you'll find information about the course. You'll find a forum where you can introduce yourself. You can give some information about yourself and get to know the other people in the course. And you will also find some important information to guide you along the course, all right? So here, there's some information about Colombia, about the anniversary of Colombia, the independence, all right? So it's, it's important to explore this part to have an idea of the context you are going to be immersed in. Okay, so we're going to go, uh, so you can click here to close the page. So you close here and you just go back. So here you'll find general aspects. Here you'll have, or you'll find material for support in the learning process. And you will find units one, two, three, four, five, and six. So each course has six units. Uh, let's take a look at the support material that you'll find here. So if you click there, you'll get to some booklets with additional exercises about grammar. So you'll find grammar one, grammar two, and grammar three. And you will also find some podcasts. Podcast one about a graffiti tour here in Medellin. Podcast two. Um, about a musical instrument uh, in Colombia called tiple. And here you will find the uh, Eastern Plains of Colombia. You will also find some videos that will help you improve your Spanish. And here we will learn about being healthy and talking about addictions and also about some healthy lunch boxes. You will also find some reading comprehension activities about important information of the country and the city. You will also find some interactive games that we invite you to play so that you can improve your Spanish. And you will also find some uh, mini questionnaires about different topics all you know related to grammar different areas of grammar that will be very useful to you as you advance in the course we 
again we uh, go back here click here to go back and then you go to unit one let's take a look at unit one and see what you'll find here so we'll have you will find session one la, that talks about general uh, things general information about spanish and uh, a video here uh, the alphabet and some greetings and leave takings well here you will find about uh, how to introduce yourself and you'll find here a video where one of our professors is uh, dealing with some sort of music there uh, and some introduction about himself try to understand what he says then session three you'll get an explanation of the difference between ser and estar in Spanish. Session four, here you'll have uh, different mm, activities, three activities that would be uh, to revise uh, some activities of the personal uh, forum, uh, a revision of structural topics and general comments. In session five, you will find those countries where Spanish is spoken, mainly in South America. Here you'll find about the meaning of Colombia. What does Colombia mean? All right. And that would be the end of it. So as you advance in the lesson, you'll, you'll find here this bar that will tell you, will show you how much you have advanced in the course. When you are done with unit one, then you do the same with unit two. In unit two, you'll find here like Colombia, some information about Colombia, and here about different moods, being happy, sad, depressed, etc. Session two, uh, about articles and nouns. The use of articles and nouns and here session three deals with colombia its departments or states and its capital cities so interesting videos in order to get a context of the country session four will have different activities that is again to revise some uh, activities about cities in, in colombia also about structural uh, topics and general comments that's what unit 2 is about then you go back again and you go to unit 3 in this unit you will find information about employment in Colombia how what do people do to make a living for example session 1 is about work yeah and uh, here's a video about the different economic regions of the country. Session two uh, deals with some uh, grammatical aspect that is about the present tense, to understand this tense. And there's reading comprehension, and also about the verb and its position in the sentence. Session three, uh, again, this session is all the same as you have seen in all the units okay session four is questions and answers about different topics is more like a game so that you can interact with your peers based on some questions that they have to answer yes or no and then some practice about that there's another resource here that deals with uh, explaining the information questions the structure the use etc and uh, here we have about general culture general knowledge and it's a, a concentration game all right and here there is some writing practice that uh, you are supposed to write some questions to share with your peers session five would be reporters you'll be uh, a reporter pretend you're a reporter and there are some activities uh, to carry out this action. And that's all about this unit.
Okay. So this is how the course is uh, designed. We invite you to explore the whole course first and then go unit by unit and study the material and be ready to ask any question you have. Again, welcome to the course Spanish.